And welcome back to The Watchman. If we can look over here, we have a UN post here. Uh, Avi, tell us why the UN is here, the United Nations is here on the Golan Heights. The UN um, um, uh, staff that you see here is part of a UN um, observation force that was deployed in the Golan Heights following the 1973 war between Israel and Syria. It's part of the Israeli-Syrian yeah. ceasefire agreement. Normally, these two people wouldn't be here. They would have been inside uh, Syria or in other posts located along the Syrian-Israeli ceasefire line. The reasons they are here is because it's too dangerous for them now to be in Syria because the war is raging in Syria, so they have been relocated. They have been moved, moved from their positions, relocated right here so they could continue cover on what's going on in the Syrian arena. One other thing, Eric, very important to mention following what you say. We are talking about an, a state that became devastated by a brutal war. So we are talking about hundreds of thousands of civilians killed. Yeah. How, what is the count now? It's over 200,000, I believe, in the, Syria? The count now is, is more than 250,000. It's clearly getting to the 300,000. In five years. In just five just years. under five years, about five years. Close and to 300,000 people killed in only five years as part of the Syrian civil war, just over the horizon here. And roughly speaking, at. we are talking about something. This is hell on earth. 50 to 60 percent of the people killed are civilians. We are talking about 15,000 kids at least. We are talking about thousands and thousands of civilians. Don't let us not forget the humanitarian suffering and the crisis. And yeah. f let us not forget the huge convoys of Syrian refugees. We are talking about, yeah. believe it or not, yeah. Syria used to be 22 million people state, nation. Today, according to the figures, about 50 percent of the Syrians, we are talking 12 to 11 to 12 million people yeah. became either dislocated inside Syria or refugees outside of Syria. You are looking at one of the most dramatic events in the history of the Middle East and the ramifications of this event exceeds the border of the Middle East. That's a huge statement, Avi. For someone, an authority like Avi, to say that this is one of the most dramatic occurrences in the history of the Middle East, that tells you what's going on right now in Syria is a big deal. Uh, obviously, we have hundreds of thousands, 600,000 Syrian refugees have flooded over the border nearby to where we're standing right now, Jordan. into Jordan. But, of course, in the West, we have this refugee crisis where the Syrian civil war, why should you care at home if you're sitting, say, in America or Western Europe? Why should you care about what's happening over there in Syria? Well, it is reaching our shores, not only in the form of jihadists, uh, fighting with ISIS, returning from Syria to places like Paris and carrying out horrific attacks there, but the refugee crisis has reached our shores. Thousands and thousands of Syrian refugees fleeing this conflict. So if you think you're, we're sitting very comfortably in America, if you think what happens over here in the Middle East does not affect you in Wisconsin or Iowa or California, think again. Correct, Eric. And again, when you look at the map and you look at the wide picture, you could see Syria, you could see Turkey, you could see the passage to Europe. Yeah. And you have very accurately described one of the major outcomes of the war in Syria, the huge influx of Syrians fleeing to Europe. This is it. Now, many of these people fleeing to Europe are just innocent people sure. that are fleeing to Europe sure. trying to escape hell. Mm -hmm. But obviously, you also know that some of them are not yeah. so innocent. Some of the Paris attackers, we saw a horrific terror attack in Paris, November 2015. Some of them had fought with ISIS in Syria and slipped in among the refugees into Europe. So it's a very complex situation. As Avi mentioned, you have innocent women and children who are legitimately fleeing a horrific war zone in Syria. But unfortunately, you have bad actors from organizations like ISIS that can take advantage of this refugee crisis to strike in the West. Very complicated, complex issue, but it shows you again how this conflict in Syria and the madness, the chaos, 300,000 killed, has spilled over and become a global problem, and none more so for than the, the country I'm standing in right now along the Syrian border, Israel. So Avi, thank you so much, my friend. Thank a you, way Eric. to break down uh, the most probably the, the most hellish conflict on earth right now, the Syrian civil war. And now folks, thanks to our good friend Avi, you have a picture of how this affects not only Israel, but America and Europe. This is a global problem here in Syria. Much more coming up from Israel, from the Golan Heights 
on the border of a war zone.